Direct your guiding for allowing me to preach this sermon. I just pray that you'll bless this sermon to the listeners, and I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Now, first of all, <clears throat> what is an unbeliever? An unbeliever is a person who does not believe in God, and perhaps an atheist, or a Muslim, or a Jew, or somebody that just does, does not believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. The Bible says they're, they'll, they'll burn in hell when they die. That's what it says. Now, turn to Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. It says, For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Now, if you have yourselves an NIV, that verse is not in there, so I can just chunk that. Okay, now look. <clears throat> This is serious. I'm going to go over some verses that talk about lost people, and then in the latter part of the sermon, I'm going to uh, go over what a person has to do about you know, salvation, what a person has to do to get saved. Make it, I'll make it really clear and real simple. If you turn to Ephesians chapter 2. If you have your King James Bible with you. Turn to Ephesians chapter 2. I'm going to try to slow down, make this clear. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12, it says, that at that time ye were without Christ. Now, an unbeliever is somebody without Christ. They don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. They're not a believer. You know? I mean, I, like he's atheist out there, so I don't believe in anything. Well, hey, you know what the Bible says about you atheist? It says that without Christ being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, okay, God offers eternal life. It's a promise to everyone that believes on Jesus Christ. You've got eternal life. It's a promise. But it says you are, you are a stranger from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. That's what an, that's what an unbeliever has. No hope. <clears throat> now... <clears throat> Let me go to a verse that proves to you that once you believe on Jesus Christ, you got eternal life, and it's, it's given to you, you're guaranteed to go to heaven no matter what, the moment you believe on Christ. And then I'm going to compare it with the verse that talks about people that don't believe. If you turn to John chapter 10, and it, look at verse 27, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. You notice it says he's given them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Okay? That means they're never going to go to hell, they're never going to perish, they're eternally secure. But my point is, if you jump back to verse 26, he's talking to unbelievers here. He says, but ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said, as I said unto you. you. You don't believe in me. You're not a believer. You're going to hell when you die. But to be, to be saved is to simply admit that you're a sinner. The Bible says all over the place that we're, that we're sinners. Galatians chapter 3. It's found everywhere. It's found in Romans. It's found, it's found in Romans chapter 5. Um, verse, let me just show you the verse. Verse 12, it says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so passed, and so death excuse me, passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. We're all sinners. Everyone has sinned. What is sin? Sin is just um, doing anything that's wrong. It's, anything can be sin. A foolish thought is sin, according to the Bible. Knowing to do what's right and not doing it is sin, according to James. You know, watching the television set is a sin. And if, you're, if, you, if you're a television watcher, you need to get off your duff and go out and go soul winning and quit lazing around into this... this uh, Stupor, this ridiculous celluloid stupor, it's all it is. It's a joke. It's a, it's, it's a joke, folks. Television is a joke. Yeah, I'm going to preach against television because it's, it's a waste, and it's an epidemic, and it's ridiculous. Now turn to Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3, start with verse 21. Is the law then against the promises of God? No, nope. we're talking about salvation now. God forbid, for if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by that by the law but the scripture hath concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given unto them that believe if you're a believer in Christ you're promised eternal life according to that verse but there are people out there that are, that are unbelievers and they just don't believe in anything and they got no, they got no hope and they're doomed when they die, when they die they're going to drop into the, the pits of hell and burn forever but we don't have to but, but you don't have to the bible says um John 3.15, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's what the Bible teaches. Jesus Christ died for your sins. Do you believe that? If you don't, you're going to go to hell when you die. But you don't have to. You, you can become a believer at any time. And that's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, I thank you for allowing me to preach this sermon on unbelievers and what's going to happen to an unbeliever when they die. Jesus Christ came to save that which was lost, and I believe that. And the Bible mentions people being lost. Having the gospel hid from them, I just pray that you'll uh, allow us to uh, see the need to go out and pass out tracts and, um, and give people the gospel and give them the good news of what Jesus Christ did for them so that they can go to heaven forever. I ask all this in Jesus' precious name. Amen.